everybody out there. This is Travis with the Broken Battery Podcast, and we are back. We're back, folks. Me and the Pharaoh of Fun, mm. Joe. Hi, everybody. I'm back from my second bout of the vid. Yes, the vid. So we can't. I don't want to say the full name because uh, we just don't know who well, out there's listening. Well, like we said today, today's show is brought to you by the vid. Yes, because it gave it. It's given you everything. Why not give you a, a equally an entertaining podcast? The most ridiculous thing ever, <laughs> and it's all anybody can talk about. A, <laughs> so we're not going to talk about that anymore. I just don't know how it could have happened, Trav. I, I maybe people shouldn't eat bats. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I thought it was pangolins. Well, I think they did something else to a pangolin. If I'm I'm to believe everything. Thing I see on TV. Yeah, you fucked me, Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> Quick spotlight for you out there, folks. Um, watch the episode about the pandemic uh, for South Park. You'll know what we're talking Is about. Is it the pandemic special? It's the pandemic special, and that's not actually what the pandemic special is. We'll leave that to you to watch. I mean, I don't want to give everything away on that, but it is quite enjoyable. We want to thank everybody ba coming back after the grueling holiday season. Yes, it was quite grueling. Super grueling, accepting all those gifts. Yes. And giving gifts. And the giving. And, and the pies. And the receiving. And the receiving. And the giving, and which you would give to have people receive. Which... I'm the Pharaoh of Fun himself has spoken, and he's absolutely 100% right on this. You can see everything on his fans only page it's too. The, uh, it's the uh, most uh, most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, sure. I kind of like the day, just not everything leading up to it. Yeah, you know, it, everybody says it's about it's all about the journey. I, I really, like now. I really, I really enjoy, you know, Christmas morning. Watching the kids open up the presents that I had no idea that I got them. <laughs> yeah. See, you, I, I, my understanding is you do that so you can equally be like as shocked as they are, so you're excited for them. Yeah, I knew a couple of them, but that's yeah. about it. <laughs> I like the Oculus. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like the Oculus. You're yeah. like, I totally picked that out. I totally picked that out. <laughs> In no I, way was it for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have not played it as much as the children have, so I can say that. And oh, then, absolutely. And then, and then I get yelled at when I'm playing it. Uh huh. When I'm playing it, and somebody else, so nobody wants to play it until I'm playing it. Yeah, because you make and, it look fun. And then I have to give it up. That's bullshit. Because I bought it for them. Mm, but well, they weren't well, even well, here. They weren't even here. And why is your name like engraved on the side of it if yeah, you bought it for well, them? Well, yeah, I mean, it was one of those. Well, things. actually, uh, Joe's Joe is my ball's name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're happy that you guys are back with us, all you great members of the Battery Pack. We are super excited you're with us, and we are super excited to get the ball rolling on this beautiful year of 2022. Yeah, yeah. It's, According it's, to me, Soylent Green is supposed to happen to here. I mean, that's what I read. Soylent Green is supposed to happen. Yeah, well, I mean, that could happen. And that's what our first spotlight of the year is on, Hey, Joe. I mean, you know, Travis, to tell you the truth, I mean, basically, you know, if you cook it right, Anything's edible. Anything's edible. As long as you boil it. Yeah, as long as, yeah, as, long as you boil it first, right, Trap? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You boil it, ends up tasting like hot dog water. You boil it. <laughs> you boil it. But yes, for sure, our first spotlight is the movie Soylent Green. It's an older film starring the, the Chuck. man. Starring Chuck Heston, the manliest man next to Chuck Norris or the Duke. <laughs> um it's a futuristic thriller set in 2022 <laughs> where um, the world is overpopulated. Yep. Yep. And um, I don't want to give it away. I mean, obviously. We can no, spoil spoilers. No, we no, no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers from that movie from 1956. <laughs> <laughs> it was the 60s, I think. Yeah, I, <laughs> I digress. Yeah, it's over 50. And they 50 find, years okay, so like, all right. So then they find out that they're actually eating people. Oh, Yes. If you, you know what? Fuck it. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you find out that they solve the world's food problem with you know just crushing up the dead and making it into something called soil and green. And they wonder why the, they wouldn't tell the population what the shit was made of. Yeah, I mean, I I honestly don't know how I'd feel about that. I think I'd be more inclined to eat a person than a bug. Uh, nah, not really. I can't yeah, say that. No, but know. check out soil and green. Depends on how hungry I am. <laughs> You talk like Donner Party hungry, yeah, or people from Alive. I have no idea, right? Um, but anyway, check it out, guys. It's a it's a staple of science fiction that I feel that everybody should watch at least once. And now that we're actually living in the year of 2022, you might as well go ahead and check it out yourself. Yeah, 
But, Joe, we're going to go to one of our favorite segments, or one of our newer segments. What the hell were they talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and today's artist is one by my request. It's Beck. <laughs> oh, Beck. You still don't make any sense. You're like, uh, I don't know, is Moby a poor man's Beck or is Beck a poor man's Moby? Not even the same. same. Uh... No, one's folk rock, the other one's like techno, isn't he? Yeah, I mean... I mean, you are you are the guru of music more bear, than so I am. I, I mean, bear, I mean, there's, Moby has some good songs, but I mean, it's pretty much uh, radio. It's radio. It's, it's like radio pop. Radio. Radio pop, pop techno. Good thing we got our pop filters on. Yeah, good, good thing because I would have totally popped my, my pee. Your peas. Yeah, I did. But I, I heard yours there too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, um, no. We're going to be looking at the song Loser by Beck, and we're going to look at the lyrics in here. And I don't know if you want to sing them or if you want me, you to, want say me to sing them or, or, or I, say them. I can say them. You could, but I mean, it basically sounds like you're just saying them in the fucking song anyway. Yeah. It doesn't really sound like you're singing either. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'll do my... Uh... Maybe I'll do my best back impres- impersonation uh, as I'm reading it. Okay. We could probably do that. You could probably do that. So you want to take it away, Joe? So, yeah. So it's like guitar intro. <laughs> ding, 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 Good guitar ding, ding, ding. issue. <laughs> In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Butane in my veins and I'm out to cut the junkie. With the plastic eyeballs, spray paint the vegetables, dog food stalls with the beefcake pantyhose. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not even the, the first stanza, <laughs> and I have exactly no fucking clue what he's talking about right now. Okay, but so, it works. He, but it works because he's talking. I mean, obviously, he was watching Planet of the Apes when he saw this. Maybe when he started writing this, I'm pretty sure he was writing that, and he was eating White Castle. Mm-hmm. But I understand nothing about him butane in his veins, and he's out to cut the junkie. Like, does he? I, he's on drugs, right? I mean, that's kind of what I think this is about. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could we could probably say that. Oh, yes. And our mascot decided to chime in. Yeah. Okay, so continue. <laughs> Kill the headlights and put it in neutral. Stock car flaming with the loser on the cruise control. <laughs> Babies in Reno with the vitamin D. Got a couple of couches. Sleep on the love seat. <laughs> Beautiful. Brought a tear to my eye. Um, so. Welks. You <laughs> So okay, so he's obviously killing. So he's doing. He's doing drugs. He's in his car, and his late old lady is tanning in Reno right now because that's what my best idea of it, with the vitamin D. You get vitamin D from this song. Sure, sure. Um, right. Stock car flaming with a loser and the cruise control. Uh, so I think he lit his bowl. I think he lit his bowl. <laughs> I think he lit his bowl, and he's got it on cruise control. Okay, so here comes one of my favorite lines. What's that? Uh, the next line on here, Joe. Oh. Someone came in saying I'm insane to complain about a shotgun wedding and a stain on my shirt. <laughs> Don't believe everything that you breathe. You get a parking validation <laughs> and a maggot on your sleeve. Yeah, so God. shave your face with some mace in the dark. <laughs> Saving all your food stamps and burning down the trailer park. Okay. Yo. Yo. Cut, cut it. it. Okay. Um, well, so this derailed everything that I was going for so far. I, he apparently, well, obviously he lives in a trailer park. And he's saving his food stamps. So he's he's, he's poor white trash. He's, he's trying he's, to move on up to uh, the east side. side. <laughs> Just like Sherman Helms. Yes, that's right. Uh, so, and you know, obviously he's a, he's a slump. He uh, he lives in a trailer park, doing drugs in his car, and yeah, he's unskilled labor. Sure, I can. Okay. I mean, I guess I could see that. I, mean, I can relate. Uh, so so anyway, I mean, okay. this makes even less sense. Than yeah, right. Mel- Melvin okay. song we did a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the chorus. Uh, okay, so my Spanish is kind of bad. So this is uh, soy un perdedor. Okay. So I opened the door. Oh, yeah. My yeah. computer went to sleep. <laughs> Need an iPad, I'm a loser, baby. baby. So why don't you kill me? This Double actually. Pair of buckshot. <laughs> so. So I opened the door. I'm a loser, a baby. baby. So why don't, don't you kill me? And that translated. Yes. In Spanish. To what? Well, I'm a loser. <laughs> 
it's a, no, you're redundant. <laughs> True. Like, True. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he is not happy with his life. This actually makes more sense than the kind of reef. So, so actually, we're actually figuring this song out. Now, mind you, I did not go through these lyrics with a fine tooth comb until now. Mm-hmm. So we're moving we're on. We're not even really doing it at this that, at this point either. No, we're just making fun of Beck. Right. Um, well, I mean, I don't say we're making fun of Beck, but what the fuck was he saying? Really? What are you trying to say, Beck, you crazy hippie? Uh, so up next is the next stanza. Ah, here we go. The daytime crap of the folk singer slob. He, hang him, he hung himself with a guitar string. A slap of turkey neck and it's hating from a pigeon wing. You can't write... If you can't relate, trade the cash for the beef, for the body, for the hate. <laughs> and my Tom is a piece of wax falling on a termite that's choking on, on the, the splitters. splitters. Oh, okay. And then we go into the course three times after that. We won't go through all that with various things like smack in the Deutsch, baby. Hey, I'm a driver. I'm the winner. <laughs> things are going to change. I can feel it. Uh, that's not in there. That's a yeah. sample. So that's not in there. Oh, I know, but you hear it in the song. I know. <laughs> so yeah, those are the those are for the most part the lyrics from Beck. Um, so he is singing about a slacker that obviously is the what? folk singer is him. The fo- obviously, I think he I think he inserted himself in the song. Mm-hmm. I think like a lot of musicians do this. Yeah. You know, it's like the first song we talked about, Sting. Yeah. With uh, I'll be watching you by the police, or was it just by Sting? I am not. I'm not quite sure. I think it was just uh, the it was the police at that time. Oh yes, yes, ironic. Yes, <laughs> don't you think? Thanks. So, if you guys got any other songs that you're kind of like, what the fuck were they trying to say? You know, post it in the other room uh, in the comments after you like and subscribe to our stuff. It's a it's a little click for you guys, but it means a lot to us because you can never miss any of the new stuff we put out. Yeah, and when when we, when we can do it, well. We holidays are rough on everybody, and a, some people have day jobs. Yeah, which makes sense. Doesn't make any sense because I had more time off during the holidays than I did. <laughs> I, I I had more time off, and then and then I had more shit to do. Like you notice so, that how yeah. everything just kind of like. Did you know that we're going to do this tonight, honey? Oh no! I didn't. Oh, that's awesome. I promised we would. Yeah, the gutters. Who'd you promise? Not me. <laughs> But I would just be fine with staying home. Oh, absolutely! My brother makes this really great um, eggnog made of lighter fluid. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's uh, tasty. Oh, well, but that's, that's weird. So, Joe, yeah, this we're, I'm going to be doing, and probably to the end of the month, um, a lot of 2021 in review stuff. Okay. And this was one thing that I saw somebody else kind of compile their own list, and I think we should compile our list because I don't really agree with what they were saying. I love lists. I do, too. Mm-hmm. I, I love LAMP. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> but I like I, to make pros and cons lists all the time. Oh, too. yeah? Yeah, on a legal like, pad. Like whether or not I should get up and go to work. Like That's what I do sometimes. Like, yeah. Money. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. And then you're like, money. Homeless. <laughs> I don't want to. All right. <laughs> But um, as everybody out there that does listen to the show, or if you're new listening to the show, um, Joe and I are avid comic book uh, readers. We love the genre. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could read more than I actually. Well, you're not missing much now. If I would suggest you to read comics right now, I would read the the, like the back issues and shit from like five years ago. Not so much the stuff going on right now. Well, let me let me uh, ask you a question here. Sure. So DC Universe is no longer on anymore. And when when DC Universe was out, the, you were able to like read like old comic books well digitally. Or, digitally, great, um, great stuff. Are, I you know I haven't looked into it. Can you still do it on HBO Max? I can't do it on HBO Max, but I think DC Universe still exists in some form. So you can read those old comics. Uh, oh, okay. Or you can also sign up for Comicsology, which is like two dollars a month. Oh. Um, they are we are they are not sponsoring us, folks, and I am not trying to plug them. I was just answering a question. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Trevor. I appreciate that. Well, you're Feel welcome. free to cut this out and post if you want to. It exactly, really it's, it's fine. It yeah. doesn't matter. No, no, I know. I, I, I will just, it in I, I just thought it was a cool feature in the. Uh, DC oh, oh, it was. I actually caught up on some old issues that I never got to read. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, cool. I can't find those anymore. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna, they're on a digital. Like one of the best stuff. Like. The new stuff they're coming out with, I'm more apt to read independent comics now right now than the big two because it's just it's gotten really wokeified and I don't like it. 
Hey, tri- oh, I'll, I'll bring, woke I, is I, me. I, oh, woke is me. Woke but, is me. But we were talking about, for all the normies out there, <laughs> all, all the normies out there that don't know, everything they know from comic books is shit they read on Wikipedia and, and the movies they watch. So Yeah, and just remember that anybody can edit a wiki. Anybody can. So, you know. Sometimes I just go in there to change shit. <laughs> So Edward James almost wasn't the Chancellor of Germany in 1928. Yeah. Everybody looked at me like I was an asshole. And I did I spell that. it almost. A-L-M-S-T. <laughs> he was almost the Chancellor. Almost. Oh. <laughs> but we were talking about, you know, comic book movies are all the rage. They are. They're so hot right now. So, uh, <laughs> so hot. They're so hot. Um but 2021 actually had seven entries from various uh, film companies. Yes. Um, and by obviously, we're talking about from Marvel uh-huh. and the House of Mouse. House of Mouse. Um, and then you have Sony that threw their hat into the ring. Yes. This, which they've had consistently. Yeah, they're, they're doing an RA job. And also DC. Yeah. So we're going to go over the seven, the seven superhero movies that were released in 2021. We're going to go from... How we what we thought was the the weakest to the strongest out of these, mm-hmm. and I will actually get this uh, firecracker lit first. Um, I am going to say the worst superhero movie in twenty twenty one and pretty much period, except for maybe Captain Marvel, um, is the Eternals. Mm. My God in heaven. Jack Kirby's rolling over in his fucking grave right so, now. So, so we're starting from the bottom and we're going to the top? Yes. All right. That's how All we do it. Right. Like okay. Donkey Kong. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. How Eternal. high can you get? I can get pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Eternals. Now, uh, it's a lesser known property. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a given. Um, true comic book fans know the Eternals and they probably still didn't read the comic books either. Uh, but... When Kirby was writing it, it was really, really good, and he incorporated a lot of good shit in there that you could see kind of bled over to DC's New Gods. Mm, now, a little bit. the Eternals were basically created by these giant space beings called Celestials, and they protected human beings from other things called the Deviants, which yes. were failed experiments on their part. And, well, this movie got a good job of doing that, but they were so worried about making the cast so freaking diverse, they lost sight of the story. They're like, we're going to shoehorn all this, well, crap in here, and we're going to totally lose totally lose sight of what makes a good uh, comic book movie a good comic book movie. And, Joe, I know you haven't seen it. Well, that's what I was going to say. Um, I was going to I was gonna watch it, going to watch it, because I have, and I know that you keep telling me that I should not watch it. Yeah, John, no I mean, matter. it's like cutting your hand off. Like, yeah, you shouldn't cut your hand off. Like, but I could put a chainsaw on her. Yeah, I guess. Right, but, yeah. right. Or replace it with droid parts. A droid, which would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but this but, isn't um, awesome. <laughs> I mean... I, I'm gonna rank. I'm gonna rank it last because I really just had no desire to see it until I could actually see it for, for free. Well, or for a well, nominal fee for, monthly. <laughs> for, I could watch it from the comfort of my home. Let's, Agreed. Let's just put it. Out I there. actually went to the theater because I have reasons. Well, just no, I like I like supporting theaters. It's, I mean, it's fun. I, it's fun to get out. It does. It's it fun is. to get out. More so for you than me. Yeah. Okay. Well, Joe. Yeah. I what do you what do you got what do you got next? I got Black Widow. Ah, uh, okay. I got Black Widow. I uh, I do not. Okay. I I actually have Venom in this spot. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. But since we're gonna go over them all, let's just go off of your list. Okay. And we'll do it in the order that you wanted it. And so I appreciated Black Widow. Oh, I did too. Uh, I did too. I'm not saying that it was a bad movie, but I had Venom next. But yeah, but I mean, um, Black Widow was uh, it was it was an okay movie. Um, it was I, delayed. <laughs> I remember, like I said before, when we actually did a review of it originally, I felt like I should have saw this movie a year earlier. <laughs> a year earlier, um, but I couldn't. Um, I think I think that that uh, I think that uh, Disney could have could have made a shit ton of money off of it by putting it as a pay-per-view uh, extra within Disney Plus. Instead of just putting it out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, you know, it came out, in my opinion, I think that it came out a little bit early. And then, it, you know, they released it. And then they, yet again, they released it 
on Disney Plus at the same time for the way that I thought they should have done it. Exactly. I mean, if they would have released it when they rele- when they should have released it on Disney Plus, I think it would have made a shit ton of money and nobody would have been mad. And nobody would have had to sue anybody. Right. And, you know, the whole suing and everything like that isn't what I put it so low. I mean, honest truth, I think it's one major reason why I put it so low. It's just they butchered one of my all-time favorite characters. Taskmaster. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. I was so pissed. Yeah. It was pretty bad. I was just like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Now nah, that, that it didn't. I mean, they could have made her anybody else that never even existed, and just gave it or just task made Taskmaster mas- a dude like he's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that that's the that's the problem, and you know, it's I don't know. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, don't get me wrong, like uh, Florence Pugh, huh? Florence Pugh uh, made her debut in this as Black Widow's sister. Yeah. And uh, she was a very bright spot in this. She was awesome. Yeah. And, I mean, like, everybody... I even like Red Guardian. I mean, like, the, the guy from Stranger Things. Yeah. I mean, he was he was awesome, She too. was also very good in Hawkeye. She was very good in Hawkeye. Hawkeye. If you haven't seen Hawkeye yet, check it out. Yeah. And it's going to make that's, you happy. That's really... You like that's Marvel. a real good one. Uh, so don't wait after the credits, though. It was complete shit after the credits. It was funny. I was mad. <laughs> I was waiting for something. It was like the end of what, Spider-Man. I do this all day. You're like a Spider-Man Homecoming when it, all it was was fucking Captain America coming out there and be like, sometimes you got to deal with disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you just trolled us, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, so my third from the bottom, it's uh, it's kind of a tie. I I can interchange this with the one above it or not, and not. So uh-huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Venom on this one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we kind of we kind of swapped. Swap this one out. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, because I had, uh, I had Venom. Uh, I had Black Widow above Venom. Yes. Um, I actually saw Venom last week when I had the vid. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, 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 yes. It was. Uh, yes, I, I, you know, I, I concur. I, I, I bought it. You bought it. Uh, <laughs> I bought it on Fandango now. Fandango now. Yeah, go ahead and sponsor us. <laughs> go ahead. We don't want to work. Uh, uh, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. We gotta, we got to get a cough button in here. We still got some remnants of the vid. We got to get the studio audience in here. Is what we're gonna do? That's we, what we got to do. Hear it. Yeah. But I mean, everybody's got to have te- be tested uh, or vaccinated or have a uh, negative test within. Uh, Within 72 hours, if they're going to be in our audience, though. I'm, I'm just not messing around with this stuff anymore, Trev. <laughs> All right, Joe. We'll get right on that, buddy. Okay. Uh, so what were your thoughts on Venom when you saw it? Um, I thought it was good. I did, too. I think Tom I, Hardy does a great job. Yeah. I think I think he did it. I think he did a really good. Um, the thing that I did, that I still dislike about the Venom franchise right now is that absence of Spider-Man? Is the absence of Spider-Man? Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> like that's the that's like the one thing that is is like you know that's what makes Venom Venom is his hatred of Spider-Man. Well, and, not so much now, but it was. Well, he still doesn't like him. Well, right. I understand that he doesn't like him, but what I'm saying is, he got the suit in Secret Wars. Yes, and, and it, then he got he rejected it. it. It's like a crazy ex-girlfriend, right? So Venom is a crazy ex girlfriend, is what it is. Yeah. So basically, so that that's my one hang up on the Venom. Venom without Spider Man kind of ticks me off. Yeah. But I like, I like the story. It's goofy. Yeah, and you know the thing is, Tom Hardy does such a good job as the Venom voice too. Right. Right. But I mean, but Eddie Brock's supposed to have is supposed to have a little bit of angst towards Peter Parker as well. Right? Well, yeah. So, but the thing thing is, is in the comic. Eddie has angst toward him, but he doesn't have any reason to because Eddie lied. And and Peter exposed his lie because he was making up fucking stories to sell like 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 sell stories to the the to the newspaper. Right. So I'm like, yeah, Eddie's kind of a dick at first. Sure. But sure, but I'm I'm just saying, like you know, it's like a mutual hatred of Spider Man slash Peter Parker. It, it actually, I, one of the best things he ever said. He goes, "We share a beautiful hatred together of you," and I'm like, "Oh, that's great." Right. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like Venom. I think the story is pretty good. I do too. But, um, the movie. Uh, uh, okay, so Woody Harrelson made me excited about Carnage showing up, and I, again, you know, like, Carnage is like such a great bad guy. Like, I they they totally underused him, mm-hmm. and then they put Shriek in there. 
And Shriek is like a lesser known character, but they made him like made her like a love interest. And I'm like, no, 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 don't humanize the bad guy. He is a fucking serial killer. Yeah, okay, yeah. You, you guys ruined it in that sense. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I thought, totally. I, I thought it was dumb. It was very stupid. like I mean, like it, it basically he should have became Carnage and just started, started massacring kill, people. Yeah, just started killing people, and that's another reason that this doesn't work without Spider Man. Exactly because they had to team up to fight him. That's right. Exactly. I had the actually the first appearance of Carnage. I absolutely love that book. I must have read it like a hundred fucking times. It's not worth what it is because I read so much. Yeah. Okay, and so, the pages are all sticking together. Yeah, I know. Weird. I said Shriek was so hot. Uh, so <laughs> anywho, um, next on my list is Feng Shui. I mean Shang Chi. Shang Chi. And the Legend of the uh, Ten Couches. I mean Rings. <laughs> I got, uh, got uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which was better than I thought it was going to be. I it, got I got uh, Shang Chi a little bit higher. Yeah, do you? Yeah, I got it one higher. Okay, but I mean, we can talk about this movie. I thought it was uh, pretty damn good. Oh, dude, the martial arts in it were exquisite. Yeah, I thought hey. that. Um, what was the what was the sidekick's name? Linda uh, Aquafina. That's actually her name, folks. <laughs> The actress's name's Aquafina. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I can't I, remember her name. Over. I don't remember her character's name. I just like saying Aquafina. Yeah. I'm like literally named after like, bottled water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with, She's hilarious. With with uh, with minerals. To with minerals. <laughs> it has with plants. Crave. That's right. Um, no, uh, she is hilarious too. Yeah. She's a great uh, yeah. great character. Ben, ben Kingsley makes a uh, return. Makes the return because As Trevor Slattery. Yes. <laughs> He has a little tiny. He has a little tiny pet. No, that's shaped like an ass yes. with wings. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed that immensely. I'm glad they tied together the old Iron Man Mandarin stuff there. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Am I a purist when it comes to it? I love the old school Mandarin, like yes. with the rings and all the powers and uh, they, and the mustache and the mustache. He looked the, like the, Genghis the, Khan. The, the Fu <laughs> Manchu. Fu Manchu. It looked yeah. basically very racist caricature. Uh, now nah, I wouldn't even say it's racist caricature because I've seen people sporting that shit and it looks good. They can pull it off. Yeah. Um, but Shang Chi, like, if it was just like a martial arts movie, oh man, I would have been over the moon with this. It was a Marvel movie. I liked it because I love kung fu movies. Exactly. I like all that. And then it was like, okay, well, you know, like this is a they made a likable guy who is going to show up. And yes, he's going to be an Avenger. Which I um, we're going to that in a minute. Oh, okay, okay, but I'm just I'm just saying like you know it's a likable character. He's got you know his he's got his falcon. She's uh, she's right at his side. <laughs> you know falcon. Yeah, you know she's and, gonna she's gonna end up taking his mantle. and It's gonna make no sense whatsoever. Right. I'm Shang Chi now. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I mean, you know, like I said, I think I think it's uh, I think it's a good. It was a, it was a good uh, first movie for a guy that's going to show up a lot more often. See, the thing, cool thing I liked about Shang Chi from the books is he didn't have any superpowers. He was just like one of the best martial artists. Like he could hand people their asses with yeah. powers and shit. He was like Bruce Lee and shit. Yes, I mean that's basically who he was in the comic. But like right. they gave him the rings in this movie. And I'm like, ah, oh, you made him super powered. No, don't do that. Yeah, but I mean, you had to. Yeah, I know. I understand. He's yeah, I mean, duking, duking it out with people that yeah, have superpowers right. and shit. But he did a good job fighting Mr. Blade Arm in that movie and that subway. Key. That guy had a Yeah, but he's not going to be able to keep it up. No, he won't be able to keep it up. He's going to need not, those rings. Yeah, he's he's not. He needed he needed the rings. Kang's coming. Kang's coming. And, and if uh, you know who it is, look it up. I'm pretty sure it's on Wikipedia. We promise we won't change the Wikipedia on you. Uh, oops, oops. Oh, you're like, oh, I know all about Kang. I read it on Wikipedia for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Played by Edward James Almost. Oh, Edward James Almost. <laughs> the guy's, a, guy's a national treasure. <laughs> that with Tom Scared. So. <laughs> fucking national treasure, man. Yeah, exactly. National Treasure 5, starring Joe, Edward James Almost, Nick Cage, and, and Tom, Scared. Tom Scared. So, next up, after Shang-Chi, which was a good movie. Like I'm saying, all these movies, except for Eternals, are good. Um, I have is suicide the suicide squad these the it was it the suicide squad i thought it was just suicide squad. no suicide squad was the first one that movie sucked i didn't mind that one it sucked i didn't mind that one are you talking about the one this year this year was okay 
This year was better than the first one. I, I'll agree with you on that one, but yeah. the other one didn't suck. Uh, I I, kind of, I, agree to disagree. I kind of thought that it didn't make any sense. And like, why did these? Why did these evil? These evil doers. They had and, bombs in their head, dude. No, it, no. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> The camaraderie. Oh, the, no, no, no. I agree 100 percent on that. The, there should have been no camaraderie. They should not have gave a shit about, about each any, other. No, they should. They should not. have just. They, they're like, okay. The, I'm the only do one the was job. Harley. The only one that should have cared was Harley because she's like that shit crazy. Right. Maybe. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I thought that the first movie was stupid. Right. I uh, I didn't say I hated it. No. I've watched it a couple times. Yeah. It's nowhere near as bad as the. Birds of Prey movie. Which oh was, God! Which was uh, which? Which was? If Eternals is better than Birds of Prey, I won't feel as if I've wasted my time. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I can actually deliver on that one. I think Eternals <laughs> is a little bit better than Birds of okay, Prey. Okay, okay, but right. I still feel like I wasted my time because right. um, I because I, I I feel like I feel like I'm gonna watch the Eternals. Oh, I know, and I want you to do it, and I want you to let me know. Uh-huh. And I might even go solo for a quick 15 minute review on that about what Joe <laughs> told me. Uh, but anyway, Suicide Squad. Um, this is what the first one should have been. Yeah, I think like so. for their mission. I think uh, so. Like the the original Suicide Squad, I think they should have had the Joker as the main bad guy. Mm, yeah. Instead of having like a super powered thing, I'm like, where the fuck is Wonder Woman when the shit's going on? Where's I mean, like, where's the Flash? Superman, where's the Flash? Where's oh, well, Superman's dead. Batman would have done something, but Batman was kind of like, I'm chill out. You can handle this. You got well. Password. I mean, he was there. He was there after the fact, right? Um, but the Suicide Squad, I mean, it was great. I like how it opened. I was upset that one of my favorite characters died. But a lot of characters Who died. Who is your favorite character? I like Captain Boomerang. Uh, I yeah. I was pissed that they killed him off right in the beginning. Yeah, he was. He's an R.A. character. Although, almost. like the the song that they used at the very beginning, <laughs> that that montage was fucking great. Um, overall, everybody really did stellar performances. Like Idris Elba. I'm glad they didn't recast uh, Deadshot. They brought Bloodsport into it, and I thought he was a great character. They brought some characters from DC that I never thought I'd see on 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 the screen. Yeah. And like even they made Polka Dot Man interesting. Yeah, no, actually he was. Are you really the, get the, to see his mom. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fact that he kept seeing his mom all in like everywhere, and then yeah, and like the, when they're in the club, <laughs> when they're well. when they're in the club, and then everybody turns into his mom. Like I had to like double take. I was like, what the fucking Starro turned into his mom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, but, it was it was it was good. Um, one of my favorite parts of that is when uh, Peacemaker and uh, Bloodsport just start killing everybody. Well, they're doing that like kind of like kill competition. Yeah, and it was just like I'm just like watching. I wa- I watched it on HBO Max, so I got to like rewind it right away and uh-huh. everything. I thought it was amazing. And, it and, turn, and, it turns and then it turns, turns out they're on their those people are on their side. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like they're like what happened to them? They're all like I don't know. But you know what I liked about it is is they really didn't redeem any of the characters. Like they were still dicks at the end of the movie. Like the only one that was like wasn't a bad person was Ratcatcher. Yeah, that's no. it. No. Um, and like like John Cena. Like I'm like man, that guy's a cock. Mm-hmm. He's still a cock. No. Yep. Sister in law was uh, stand in for the Ratcatcher. Was she? Yeah. Yep. Friend of the show, yeah. Tammy O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Tammy H, but yes, Tammy H. I, I like Tammy O better. Yeah. Uh, yes, we uh, yeah. yes she we are so the... friends, and if you will, one day we will get her on yeah, the show. I promise she, you this. It's got to be one of those like rare appearances where she shows up, and then we just do it. and We talk about all of the uh, movies that she's worked on before. Absolutely, that'd be a good idea. She, she she's probably listening right now. I guarantee you, she oh, is. I'm sure, huge fan of the show. Yeah, huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tammy. <laughs> so anyway, um, the battery pack says hi, too. Anyway, we're going to go up to my second choice, like the second best movie. And it just dropped not too long ago. I have seen, I saw this movie three times at the theater. Yeah, I saw it once. Oh, that's so good. I Spider-Man, No Way Home. Oh, so good. It was good. Oh, it was awesome. I, 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 I was, I had to shut my mouth because I wanted to talk to you about it with you. But mm. you're like, I haven't seen you yet. I'm like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I, I know. I, I apologize. No, no I, you apologize. It took me no. until the Sunday after, and I remember because I think we did. I think we, I think we either did an episode that night. We did. Yeah, and then you and you're. Like, I wouldn't seen it. Yeah, yeah, you went and saw it, and then and then we did an episode, and you're like, okay. Okay, it was so good. It was so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> 
and I only asked you one thing about it because uh, it was the rumor about the other Spider Man. Uh, yes, and I was just like, I go, it's not going to spoil the movie if you tell me yes or no that they're in. It. Right, I didn't I, want to. I didn't yeah, want to say shit. No, it's dude. It, it was fine. It was. I think. It, I think it was really well done. I think that they, including. Toby, Toby Man, and uh, Toby Man, <laughs> and uh, the other one, uh, Garfield. Yeah, Garfield, and I. I uh, think, Garfield stole the show in my eyes. I, I think it. I think it was. I think it was really good, dude. It was so good, and like it, Willem Dafoe reminds us all why we loved him as Green Goblin. Yeah. Like, he was just, he didn't even need the fucking mask. Like, when he had the goggles on and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, with that yeah. face, I'm like, oh my God, he looks like the Green Goblin and right there. I mean, I mean, you know, hats off to Willem Dafoe. I don't know if he's sleeping in a bacta chamber or he's what. He's 68 I mean, years old. And he looked almost the same as he did, what was it, 15, 20 years ago? Yeah, they didn't been... use that de-aging shit on any of them. Yeah, and I thought he I thought he looked great. I was like, Dude, wow. that fight scene was fucking brutal. Yeah, no, it definitely was. I mean, everything everything about that movie was good. And Question, though. Yes. When you were watching it, did they, audience, flip fucking out when Andrew Garfield popped out of that portal? No, yeah. my The audience that I was in, like, it was, like, fucking awful. Yeah, like, I mean, it was like everybody. It was just like over the top cheering. Yeah, um, they can't hear you, folks. Yeah, they can't hear you. But right, it was. I, I mean, there was you know like gasp. You know, the, I mean, people were clapping. People were there. Was I can understand being at excited. At one point, there was a girl that thought it would be cool to take big gulps of her drink and then burp like oh, a, that's like, right. a, like a pig. Right, right. And uh yeah, and that that was kind of messed up and uh We know, Joe, so we call that obnoxious. It was almost as if people don't get out <laughs> that often, <and laughs> but they, they haven't. And they don't know how to act anymore. Right, exactly. And, and that's exactly what I I I I probably would be better off going to see it like very soon and just like watching it and enjoying silence. it for what you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what like I went each time like I went with a good crowd the first time because they just cheered when both Toby and Andrew Garfield show up. They were like, yeah, and then they stopped. Yeah. I almost cheered when Andrew Garfield showed cuz and the banter between those three Spider-Men was the best. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was good. Like, like, like when they were talking about their webs. Yeah, like, like they come out of you. Uh, like, hey, like, <laughs> <laughs> this is like weird. And like Andrew Garfield's expansion was the best. He's like, what is that all about? Right. He's like looking at it and shit. Yeah. Up. No, that was that was really good. But you know the my all time favorite part in that movie, it wasn't even one of the funny parts. It was the part when MJ falls and Andrew Garfield jumps and saves her. Yeah, he, he catches finds, her. Yeah, he and he's up. like gonna he looks like he's gonna cry, dude. He's ready to break down. He's like he's like he's like, Are you okay? Yeah. And I'm like She's like, Are you okay? He's like, Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh. Hit you right in the fucking feels. Yeah, no, it was good because he couldn't catch Gwen. He couldn't catch Gwen, and like they they talked about Uncle Ben, mm. and then somebody actually fucking said the line in there with "Great power comes great responsibility" in a Spider-Man movie in the MCU. That I mean, was weird. It was weird, but they died. Yeah. <laughs> so they always died. Totally. Yeah. Anybody with Spider-Man says that they fucking yeah. died. Yeah. Um, needless to say, please go watch it if you haven't seen it. If you've seen it, go watch it again. I have that one, number one, with an asterisk. Oh, do you? Well, actually, I have your next one, number one, with an asterisk. Oh, okay. I'm asterisking the one, which I think it was the best movie that came out last year, uh -huh. but with an asterisk saying that No Way Home is the best movie that came out. Oh, okay. Only because the next movie is... Zack Snyder cuts of Justice League. Right. Oh. So this doesn't get. This was the best superhero movie that came out last year, it but was. it did not actually come out last year. It, well, it did, but but like it was supposed to have come out years ago. Right. But, but we had assholes that like to put their fingers in the cookie jar and fuck with shit. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't, didn't know even, who you are. Didn't, didn't even mind that it was in a four by three aspect ratio. No, or four hours long. Because yeah. I tell you something right now, those four hours go by real fast. It was it was worth it, dude. Totally worth it. I cannot sing the praises of this movie yeah. enough. Yeah, I mean, it had dark side. It had dark side. It, 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 had, it, it had didn't real just, Steppenwolf. It, it had a Steppenwolf that didn't look like a reject. 1990s like a, video game like character, a, like, a, like, a, like a cheese grater. <laughs> a cheese grater. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> like, um, who let that guy out of the senior citizen home? Yeah. No. How'd he get so vague? Yeah, that that the original, like, I've I've watched it. You know, no, I'm I didn't. I didn't. I, I I I saw the original. I didn't hate it. 
I thought it was forced. It was like a movie on fast forward. Right. It, I thought it was forced, and that and that's my issue with the DC with the DC cinematic universe is yeah. that I believe that the whole thing was forced. They were trying to make up for lost ground because they got a late start because yep. Iron Man did so well, and yep. then that took everything off. So, so that's my problem with with the DC stuff. Yes, but I, I, it's the most people's. But they are, but they're getting, they're getting there. They're gaining ground getting as long there. as they're not stupid. You know, I know there's a lot of stuff going around like, oh, Ben Affleck says he's done with uh, Batman, and now he's not. No, he's not. And now he's done. Yeah. Oh no, he's done. Oh, nope. he's not. No, nope. no, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah. And like Henry Cavill, pull the fucking trigger. Everybody wants him to come back as Superman. Right. Now they're talking about what was it, Val Zod, Superman? Lights is fucking retarded. Well, I mean, I don't think you can say that. True. That's re- oh, okay, fine. It's very, very, very not cognitive. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anywho. <laughs> Uh, I always like uh, at one point in every episode to tell Travis that he shouldn't have said that. Yeah, he said, do and not we, say that. And, and it's fine. But um, we won't get canceled as long as one of us is right up on it. It's true. They'll replace me with my non Mexican equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, so Zack Snyder Justice League, um, it flushed every character out in that movie. Yeah. It did everything. Exactly like he intended, compared to crap uh, Justice League, which was crap. I mean, it 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 made you care about the characters. Yeah, I cared about it. like Flash wasn't a buffoon in this one. In fact, yeah. he got MVP. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was much better. It was all explained. Like, I mean, it's basically it's basically the same movie with two and a half hours added to it. Right. And, and, with the stuff and, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It it made it all make sense. It's kind of like when you watch the extended, extended cut of Batman versus Superman, the Ultimate Edition. Yes. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing so movie. Yeah, it's 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 much better than the original one that they put out. Right. And then they wondered why people didn't like it, and then they're like, "Wow, did you see that one?" And you're like, "Wow, that was pretty damn good." It's pretty good. Oh well, man, yeah. We should just do move on to this so people can forget about it. Like nobody's forgetting. Yeah. Nobody's forgetting assholes. Right. Um, also. About the the and you could see it from the Justice League one, Justice League, is the um, that means that Joss Whedon did it. Yeah, Justice League. Uh, he uh, the stuff that he filmed, like they kind of made Batman kind of buffoonish in like the Justice League one. Like he was making like he like did wisecrack jokes and. That's not really Batman. Batman doesn't like he does deadpan he's shit. He's calm and calculating. <laughs> he doesn't really make jokes. He's just always can, serious. And he's always serious, but he says something that might be funny every once in a while. Maybe. Like I bought S- the bank subtly. Yeah, like he's like he's like how'd you get the, uh, the how'd you get, uh, the house how'd you get the house back? Oh, I bought the uh, bank. You, you bought the whole bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's Batman. Not yeah. like oh, something's definitely broken. I'm like that was Justice League. Yeah, that was not no. Good. And also, Justice League had the original Jimmy Olsen in it. Yeah. He was that cop that almost got burned alive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that was um, those were the seven superhero films that got released in 2021. I'm looking forward to future movies. You know, like... Actually, I, six. But we'll go with seven. There's, wait, one, let, two, three, four, five, let, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, let's uh, agree to disagree that like, that movie was like five years old. Well, so was Black Widow. Mm. Two, two years old. Yeah, I guess. It was just kind of sitting there. (laughs) I said release, folks. I didn't say film. Oh, right. Um, Well, I mean, it probably wasn't filmed then either. But there's like, there's like, you know, good movies coming out, you know, and like we didn't mention that Doctor Strange was awesome in No Way Home. Oh, yeah. He was great, and I look forward to uh, Multiverse of Madness, which he's going to be in. Corbin Dallas, Multipass. Multipass. Lilo Dallas, Multipass. But, you know, if you have a different uh, order of the list there, feel free to share it with yeah, us. Make Steve. your own list. Choose your own adventure, folks. There you go. But Tell us what you think. But thanks for listening with us. Please like us on social media. Subscribe to the show, and we'll subscribe to you because we will never let you down. Yeah, I mean, follow us. We'll follow you back. Exactly. I mean, we, got we got nothing, nothing else better yeah, to do. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I was We're just going to catch COVID again. <laughs> I have no idea how it happened. I have no idea either. I, I hate people. <laughs> no, no. That is joking. I went to a concert. 
Oh, which concert was yeah, it? Yeah, I went and saw Clutch. And, oh, there yeah, you go. And I caught the COVID. So much unwashed people <laughs> at Clutch. Well, I mean, you know, I thought I, I thought I was being re- responsible, and the dogs barking now. Yes, so that's, that's fine, fine. That's fine. I thought I was being. Well, res- that, but that was actually the time to say goodbye, folks. Yeah, that was. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Yeah, stay off the pipe. Don't forget to wipe.